Um, well, I think it's, 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 as I said, first of all, it's really that, that team effort, being very clear about that, that it's not one person's uh, job. Uh, I often see it more uh, in, all, I've said it, in all the businesses, in uh, bigger companies, big enterprises, where you know, they want to innovate. And what they do is they set up a, a chief innovation officer and they create an innovation uh, team and that's it. And then they think innovation is going to happen. It won't, right? It's, it has to be a culture within the business. And to the way we're doing it and the way we see that is, is a very open culture. Uh, it is a culture whereby you have, first of all, a very clear vision and very clear goals. Everybody needs to understand where we're going to. That, that, that innovation that then happens is obviously geared towards this, this bigger goal that the company is going towards. It's a culture of collaboration between, you know, cross departmental, between people. Uh, it's an it's a, it's a open communication culture, so talk to each other. Um, and I think a big part of that is also trusting people. So, I mean, one of the big things within, within Fargo is that we, we grew quite, we've grown quite fast and we've had to, you know, to hire a lot of people. Uh, a lot of these people being very smart and, and specialists in their respective fields. You know, trust them, let go, let them do their thing, let them thrive and let them, let, let them flourish. Uh, and then lastly, it's obviously to have clear structures and processes in place with, with very clear feedback loops to ensure that, that as you give people freedom and all this openness, that they still understand that they're on the right track and that they're uh, still moving towards that, that, that common goal that we all have.